Hello, my name is Peter de Leenheer and uh, we just ended our two-day Global Data Citizens Conference. We had about 500 participants. Uh, but here uh, I invited John Talbert here to just uh, review some of the highlights of what we think was the more interesting events, which was a Chief Data Officer Workshop. So John Talbert, I would like to thank you again to fly all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas to to participate in this workshop. You, you gave a very enlightening talk. Well, thank you, Peter, for inviting me. It was a really enjoyable experience. And uh, the whole conference, I thought, was really great. Yep. But I, I'm especially pleased about the workshops that you put on because, uh, of course, coming from education, I really appreciate how important it is to, to convey to people the concepts and give them a better understanding of what they're doing. It's really easy for us sometimes when we're in technology yep. to become absorbed in it and, and not realize that it's people that have to carry out these tasks. And so education, in my mind, is very important. Yep. So one of the tracks during the Colibra University workshops was the Chief Data Officer Readiness Workshop. So we had about 30-ish participants. Uh, a deal of them were already chief data officers. Uh, some of them were growing into the role of becoming a chief data officer. Uh, we had participants from all kinds of industries uh, and both the United States. Uh, we had some people from Europe. Um, so maybe we should go a bit over the uh, highlights of the conference, right? Sure. Well, so not everybody may be familiar with this idea of the role of the chief data officer and, and I'm glad you're out on the forefront of this. It's it's becoming very important because data, of course, is, is really becoming important, being recognized as a, an organizational resource and an asset and really needs management from uh, the higher levels of the organization at the C-suite. So the, the role, the name that we've sort of coined for this is Chief Data Officer, although as you pointed out, many people are serving uh, in this capacity that don't necessarily have that title. But I think the key thing that they bring is strategy and leadership. You actually highlight a good point here. It's not always clear that the, the, there's a title of chief data officer, but more importantly, there are the r responsibilities. Uh, and there's a lot of gray zone, of course. There's a lot of overlap maybe with the CIO. So one of the things we discussed yesterday with the CDOs was also what are the traits of the Chief Data Officer. I remember uh, Michael Vapenick, mm -hmm. Chief Data Officer of American Express. During his presentation he was talking about what he thought through his own what he called street experience. Um, he talked about these traits so with, with Colibra we try to do our best of um, enlightening the future CDOs and bringing them as much as possible resources. Um, maybe ca you can tell us a bit more about the, the program that you offer yourself uh, with the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. I'd be happy to talk about that. So again, uh, I think, you know, we have had the uh, graduate program in information quality there for uh, more than 10 years now. Uh, we were very fortunate to have the support of industry uh, to help get this program started jointly with uh, MIT in, in Cambridge. And uh, one of the thought leaders in this area is uh, Richard Wong, who started the IQ program at, uh, at MIT and is joining us now at the University of Arkansas Little Rock. And so uh, what he has, uh, has envisioned is that the next level uh, in information quality and data governance is this role of the chief data officer. So to that end, we have established a, an academic institute for chief data officers at the university. Yep. And uh, we try to provide uh, resources in terms of a forum where uh, chief data officers can get together. We offer uh, training for uh, people who aspire to be in that role of chief data officer and try to cover a lot of the fundamental, we call it CDO1 foundations because it's very foundational. And of course data governance is a cornerstone mm -hmm. of that. Uh, CDOs really need the ability to kind of move up and down the scale of granularity. In other words, they, they need to have a, a, a broad view of the strategy and overall picture of where things are going 
yet at the same time when necessary to be able to kind of dive down into the details. I think he used the analogy of a tree where you have the, the leaves and the trunk, but you also need to be able to go all the way down into the root. So essentially it was saying you need both a bottom-up uh, and top-down approach. You need to not only regulate the flow of information and with, with, with a good governance framework, but at the same time you need to actually empower people mm -hmm. also to use data and try to find uh, uh, useful insights mm -hmm. based on, 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 let's say, having data science sandboxes and, and stuff like right. that. So that is, that is really also for me one of the, the highlights mm -hmm. that he gave to us. Uh, and that seemed to be a very pragmatic approach 